can't believe. Actually, I can. Mm -hmm. This is going to be oh. one happy New Year's Eve, man. End of 2020. Oh, man. To say goodbye to 2020. Can you imagine how bad 2021 is going to be, though? Corbin, <gasps> I'm not an optimist. Corbin. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. I'm Corbin. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Sometimes I get overwhelmed with. Follow us over there. The majority of you don't. And you're missing out on good stuff. Interacting with us and stuff. You don't follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Today we were reacting to a new trailer. Just dropped, uh, I think, a few days ago. It's yeah. called The Disciple. Uh, I believe it's a Marathi film. Same by the same people that made oh, Court. Yes. Uh, I've seen some uh, hubbub about yeah. this. I think it's won, already won a couple of awards at some uh, festivals and, and stuff like that. Same people that made, we know the, we haven't seen it yet. We will. It's on a list. And it's probably, I, if, I believe it's a Marathi film. It's probably the next Marathi film we're going to watch. Um, but uh, from the same people uh, as that. What do we know about it? Uh, it's a film. Okay. It's, it's Marathi. Okay. And it's from the same people that made Court. Okay. That's, that's, that's what I, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's great. Thanks that's for that new info. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but like synopsis or anything, we don't know anything about Here we go. The Disciple. Okay. Whoa. This film won the Critics' Best Film Prize at the Venice Film Festival yesterday. <laughs> Second film, director of Court, Nawaz mentioned him. Uh, in the interview, yeah. Yes, getting a role in his films is extremely difficult. He auditions thousands of real people for each part and believes in doing a lot of retakes to get performances from them. Oh, dang. Uh, he doesn't believe in professional actors and hires them sparingly. Oh, dang. I'd love to know why. If he, if like, no, well, yeah, I know why. I say if he does it correct, it can give you the realest performance you you can get. I know why he's probably been, you know, he's done only Indian cinema, and the majority of his films he's cast white actors. Hey, but don't taste. Um, the director was also a part of the whole process of the making of Roma. That, well, that's a very his film. If he doesn't hire real actors, because that 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 was a very fly on the wall film, as well. It was, but. And what capacity was he a part of working on Roma? Don't know. But I've heard a lot of good stuff, so okay. let's just get into this. I can so tell these aren't perfect. <laughs> It's a very good thing. 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 It's a very Looks good. That had, it um, actually looked like the uh, similar to court because I remember court. It was just them in a courtroom. There wasn't like any big grandeur. Yeah, it's like this is you're gonna get the story. In the story, it felt like in the directing or the music. Yeah, story. and it felt. Speaking of Roma, that felt like an Alejandro and your YouTube trailer. Mm -hmm. Very much. Yeah, that, that gave me big time Alejandro and your YouTube vibes. Yeah, and Alfonso Cuarón exec produced this, so I'm very, very, very yeah. interested. Yeah, I'm definitely interested. Uh, so if, I don't know if it does it come out soon or does it is it already out? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it says 2020. This was the trailer was released the fourth of September. It's interesting. 
How are they doing? I have a feeling SAG is going to do what they've been doing because we've started to get the SAG screener invites, but they're all going to be virtual. Digital, yeah, virtual. Which and I don't know why there's a cap on virtual. I know. There really it sense. shouldn't be. A, uh, <laughs> weird. <laughs> it is weird. What he means by that is, so when you go to a SAG screening for a film that's nominated for a SAG award, it's held in a theater and there's a, it's, it's, you know, you can only seat so many people. So you have to RSVP and then it closes. Why you would do that for streaming and not let as many people as possible see it who are SAG members, I don't understand. Yeah. Um, so it looks on, at least on IMDb, it's coming out the 29th of this month in the United States. Yeah. Um, so that's great. Uh, Why isn't Koran listed as exec producer right there on the producing credit? I don't know. Uh, 127 inch, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. It looked like it was going to be a, in any time, because it looks artsy. Right. If you can define artsy. Um, and any time there's that, usually means it's going to be slow. Because it's either going to be dialogue or right. story driven. It's story driven or dialogue driven, and it's based on characters and people, not circumstances and events. Yeah, d definitively. And so, usually, to you, those types of films, unless you're Martin Scorsese, uh, your films are <laughs> it's true about an hour and a half to keep people engaged. You don't right. want people to get bored in your film. Right. Um, so usually it's an hour and a half. That seems really short, obviously, to since we've been watching two and a half hour. Right, three hour films for over a year now. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I see a, a film we're watching and it's like an hour and a half to under two hours, I'm like, okay, this will be quick. Yeah, <laughs> this will be a quick watch now. <laughs> Which before, it's like, oh, this is a normal film. No, like a normal film now is two and a half hours to three hours is what yeah. I expect. And then if it's any less, I'm like, okay, this is decently short. Yep. <laughs> it's just how it is. Yeah, I agree. But this looks really good. And it's such an, if that's how this director does it, you know, that's his style, that's what he likes to do, of uh, casting non-actors. If it's done correctly, and it looks like, from his reputation, he does do it correctly. Yeah. We've talked about it, like the Village Rock Stars or whatever those films. Right. If you hire non-actors, if the director does it correct, yeah. you could get the most real performances because they are just being real. And it, it looks like from the synopsis that this is going to be a legitimate take on what it means to be an Indian Wait, classical synopsis. musician. It's this masterfully composed second feature by Chaitanya Tamhain, examining a lifetime journey devoted to the art of Indian classical music. It looks similar to, the, uh, different obviously, but similar to Phantom Thread style a little bit. Um, kind of the slow pace, kind of. For sure the slow pace. I'm trying to... Obviously not the story, but it's no. a very different story. I'm wondering if this takes a weird turn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know this director, what he's known for. Because right. obviously we haven't seen Court. So we don't know, like, uh, what's that? Um, Malayalam director uh, with the LJP or whatever. Uh, uh, J, J um, Josie Lilo, JLP. Yeah, JL. Um, who likes, obviously, the, the, the chaos and the, the right. twists at the, at the end. Uh, so we, I don't know if this director is similar as well. But this does look our, like our style of film. Very much so. <laughs> So, let us know what we need to know about this film and, and the people involved. Yeah. Uh, and uh, should Court be our next Marathi film? Let us know down below.